Welcome to my channel uh, on YouTube and uh, today I want to offer you my first English lesson. Um, I will show you how to build a simple wedding ring. I want to apologize for my English and uh, my accent. Uh, first of all, a few words about myself. I am a jeweler uh, with experience about 13 years and uh, five years of these 13 years of my experience uh, I'm modeling jewelry in uh, 3D uh, programs. Um, you know that's just a little bit for about my uh, sorry, experience and now let's start modeling. And um, First of all, uh, those who just beginning to study uh, Rainit Serres, when you look, uh, when you open your program, and uh, you will see that uh, that uh, there is a lot of uh, you know such uh, comments, and uh, you will think that oh my God. Uh, I, I I must study all these uh, common uh, comments uh, comment I need um, you know that I'm, I'm sorry for my English uh, comment uh, I mean that if you press the button it's uh, comment boolean union for example yes and uh, a lot of comments you have here but uh, just only 30 person uh, of these comments you will use uh, you will use in uh, your uh, when you modeling and uh, let's start uh, to begin modeling this ring I will show you a ring it's simple wedding ring you will see it's very simple and I I think that uh, about 10 minutes and uh, you can you can see how how you how you can build it about uh, take uh, uh, 10 minutes to you to build this ring S uh, sorry for my english <laughs> sorry guys all right let's start to build uh, this ring and first of all you will go to uh, front view and then take um, you know, go to the uh, to to the box, press uh, the left uh, bottom of your mouse, and you will see such menu. And then you will uh, find the tube. Press left bottom of your mouse, tube, and uh, look. You will see the cross, and um, it means that command uh, is already. Um, is already to start uh, building the tube. All right, and now um, in a command line, I mean command line, uh, this this line, you will uh, write zero, and then press enter. All right, and you will see that uh, the middle of this circle, uh, middle of the circle, will be in. Um, in the middle of the axis. Yes, it's very important to when you start to beginning the ring. Uh, for example, we show you once again. You press uh, the tube, and then write uh, zero in uh, command line, zero, and press enter, and you have the center of uh, your circle. All right. Then I write. Uh, 17 at the size uh, it's Russian size uh, of ring uh, 17 and then I press enter then I wrote uh, my height of my ring it will be uh, 20 and then I press enter all right uh, then, 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 then I go to the perspective view, and uh, you will see that uh, your tube can be just like 
this and just like this. But we need uh, the uh, white. Um, it will be white. White uh, about you know about two two millimeters. Oh no, it's it's very big. It's very big. All right, uh, let's start again and let let uh, practice just a little bit. Put the tube uh, right uh, in a common line zero enter. 17 enter and uh, 20 enter and then uh, white of your uh, ring must be uh, one millimeter you will write one millimeter in a command line and then press enter all right we have a piece of tube it's great and then uh, we'll go in to make um, to make this part of uh, your ring, I will show you. Uh, I will show you just one second. This one. If you see, this one is a uh, smooth part of your edge. All right. If if you want to make uh, this one, this one part, you will go to uh, Boolean Union. Press left button and press uh, into this window, and uh, your window will will be uh, locked. Then you will see the uh, this command, and uh, it name variable radius fillet. Press left button of your mouse and uh, select your edge. My edge is like this and like this, all right? And then press Enter. You can press Enter or you can press your uh, right button of your mouse, all right? And you will see the this 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 one is uh, this thing that I I will show you, yes? And then all right, it's okay, and uh, press Enter. All right. It's uh, look like ring. Now it's look like ring. Really. All right. And um, now I want to take uh, the chain, gem, gems. Sorry, sorry about my English. Uh, these gems, and uh, I have such uh, such file. I press an uh, input. Uh, right bottom of my ma mouse, right bottom, and uh, take all in one stones, and take this uh, file. All right, and then I take uh, this, this one diamond uh, cut in this, and uh, then I uh, control. Take hold a uh, control and uh, push C, copy, copy this object, then control Z and uh, control V, and uh, I paste it. Yes. Then I move this stone to the middle of my axis. I uh, take this stone, uh, select, select this stone, and uh, move. And take this command move. Then I will go to the end of this stone, press left bottom of your mouse, and then if I want to move this stone to the middle of the axis, I will write in a command line zero, 0 and then press enter. All right, our stone is in the middle of the axis. All right, and then you can take a gumball. Yeah, and uh, take this stone to this place, like uh, in our this wedding ring. ring. All right. Now, uh, if you look to this ring, you will see that uh, all objects are grouped. 
And uh, if you want to ungroup one ele uh, element of this group, you will go to the groups, uh, group, groups, or a group, and uh, put this bottom of the left, uh, left bottom of your mouse, and you will see a uh, such command, and we will take uh, remove from group. I will take this command, and for example, I need uh, this one and this one. I select them and press Enter, or uh, you can press the right uh, bottom of your mouse. All right, press it, and you will uh, see that these elements are ungrouped. And uh, now we start building uh, to build this uh, this little ring. Uh, this is a place uh, where you can to drop your uh, as a seat place. If uh, I can, if in English you can uh, tell like like this as uh, that is a place of sitting of uh, of this stone. All right, and let's start uh, to build this one. You go to the top view, then uh, you take a circle, circle command. Uh, don't forget to write in your command line zero and press enter. You will see the circle and uh, hold alt and uh, because if you don't uh, hold alt you will see that uh, middle and uh, end will working this one thing i don't know how it's english uh, you know and if you don't want to hold your line in uh, for example end of uh, edge of uh, gem you will press alt and you will see that uh, everything is all right all right, and uh, for example, draw like like this circle. All right, then you go to the perspective perspective view. You will see your uh, curve, your circle, and then you will go to the box and push box, and you will see this menu. And here we have a pipe. Press pipe. And uh, make the diameter for our line. Um, it, it's about o, uh, comma seven. No, no. Uh, it will be more uh, big. Um, uh, o, uh, comma nine, like this. And press enter. And you will see that you have uh, this one pipe. All right. And take your pipe to to the stone. All right, like this. And uh, copy and paste it. And uh, push it down. Take it down this uh, tube. All right. And then, then you uh, must build uh, these elements, this element uh, that hold uh, our stone, our stone. Uh, but first of all, I want to scale our our uh, pipe just like this. You know that uh, that is T-spline plugin. Uh, T-spline, and uh, if you don't have T-spline, you can use uh, Gumball. But you know that uh, for me, Gumball is not. I'm um, don't like it. You know, really, it's uh, not uh, comfortable to work with this uh, Gumball for me. Uh, and uh, you can use it uh, gumball scale for example but I don't like this gumball and I use uh, t-spline t-spline scale like this all right then 
I will scale like this, like this. You can scale this one, like this or like this. All right. Oh, it's very big. I will scale it just like, for example. All right. And uh, now we will um, do this to build this one element. And we will go to the front view hide the ring uh, all right i hide uh, ring this one and uh, we will just look uh, to our future ring and then uh, you will go to the um, arc and push it and you will see uh, this menu and uh, take this one this one one and two this one and draw such line with uh, one point and second point, first and second point, and just like this line. All right, and then you take a uh, pipe, pipe not like these flat caps, uh, pipe like uh, the round caps, and push it. And uh, in a command line, uh, you will write, uh, for example, um, um, it will be one millimeter. Press enter and then press enter and then press enter. And you will see in the perspective view that you have uh, this one. All right. And uh, uh, go to the top view and uh, use uh, such command uh, name of this command is a polar array go to the move and then take the polar array push it uh, and uh, then when you choose this command you will uh, write in your command line zero enter you will see that uh, in the uh, middle of your axis you will have uh, the center of rotation all right, and uh, number of items we have six. All right, uh, enter and then enter. You will see your elements uh, six items. All right, and then press enter. All right, and uh, you will see that your wedding, wedding room is all already. Just like uh, I will scale this pipe. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next uh, my lessons. All right, bye bye.